Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can create the variable in the Karate framework. You can create the variables directly inside the feature file. Let me show you this with an example. So first of all, I'm going to create a new feature file. And let me call it as variables.feature. Inside this feature file, first I'm going to use the feature keyword followed by a short title. So this is the syntax which we need to follow in order to create the variables. First is the Gherkin keyword. Followed by the def key. This def key is coming from the Karate framework. Followed by the variable name. And its value. So this is the syntax which we need to follow. You can use any Garrican keyword for creating the variable. It can be either given, when, then or end. So let me go ahead and create a scenario. Now there are many use cases where you need to use the variable. For example, if some constant value is keep on repeating, it is better to replace that value with a variable. Another use case is, let's say you are reading the data from the external file system, so you can store that data in a variable. You can also use the variable along with the matcher expression. And in some cases, when you want to pass the data from one feature file to the another feature file, in that case also you can use the variables. So these are the some cases where the usage of variable is needed. So I will follow this syntax for creating the variable. So I will use the given keyword followed by the def keyword and the name of the variable and its value. So while creating the variable, we don't need to specify the type. Karate framework will automatically identify its type based on the value type. So this is how I created the integer variable and this is how I created the string variable. Now let me just print the values of these variable at the console. And for that I can use the print function. Now let me create one more runner which will be dedicated only for this feature file. And let me run this runner. So let us look at the console. So these are the values of the variables. While creating the variable, you can avoid the using of the Gherkin keyword. You can replace this keyword with the star character. So another syntax for creating the variable is star def keyword followed by the variable name and its value. So you can use this syntax also for creating the variables. And let me run the runner again. So this is the value of the new variable. The scope of this variable are up to this scenario. That means I cannot access this variable outside this scenario. So let us see what happened when I try to access this variable in another scenario.
and let me run the runner again. So as you can see at the console, I cannot access those variable in the second scenario. So that means the scope of these variable are up to only this scenario. If I want to access this variable inside this scenario, that is not possible. In the second scenario, I'm going to redefine the same variable. Now in this case, these variable are different than these variable. In this scenario, I can access only this variable and in this scenario, I can access only these variable. So let me run this. So if you look at the console, the values are different and these values are the same what we define in the individual scenario. One more place where you can initialize and create the variables are under the background section. Under the background section also, I can create the variables and use them in scenario. Now, as we know that before every scenario, the background section will get executed. So for that scenario, these variables will be available. That means these two variable can be accessed inside this scenario as well as in this scenario also. Let me run the runner. Now let us look at the console. So you can see here we can access both the variable in this scenario and these two variable were created and initialized in the background section. 